Polaroid introduces an economy model of the famous color pack camera. Same great film. Same fast loading. Isn't it your turn to own a Polaroid color pack camera? All right, in three, two, one. A uh, funky gadget here today, courtesy of, uh, of Willie Do, as usual. The past is current. The past is the present and the future. I have a lozenge, by the way. Yeah. It's a, there's a th there's a throat thing going on. I just want to get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. This company, Polaroid, man, they keep hanging in there, don't they? Mm -hmm. I actually remember the original Polaroids kicking around when I was just a wee a wee lad, a youngster, in fact. Uh, so Polaroid gave you something to look at immediately. It gave you some of that instant gratification that everyone's used to now with smartphones. So I've shown off some products in the past that aim to create a tangible copy of the photo that you just shot on your smartphone, but nothing like this one. This thing's called the Polaroid Lab. That is an intense contraption. Look at this thing. 100% real chemistry. The Polaroid Lab uses a three lens system to project the screen image from your phone, exposing it onto Polaroid film. Our unique chemical process then develops the image into a Polaroid picture. Fond memories is shaking it. You shake it, it to, to in order to expedite the process. I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are like, what, why? I, I, I put it on Instagram, I put it on Facebook, leave me alone, everybody sees it. But you know, it's kind of, it's for, it's a, it's a sentimental thing. All right, if you don't understand that, there's not much I can do for you, but that's the idea of it. There is an app, what does it say? Bad news for pixels. <laughs> Polaroid Lab transforms your smartphone memories into real Polaroid pictures. This is coming out officially on October the 10th. You're probably watching this video shortly before October the 10th. This is what it looks like. So yes, there is a consumable involved. This is color eye type film. There's also a black and white. If you want to get kick it real vintage, it's when you're uh, when you're at Coachella, Will, you bring this one. <clears throat> Polaroid Lab, what's old is new. The future is now. The past is the future. The present, I don't know. We'll see. I like that, Jack. You never, we never saw that before. Pull gently. I may actually have to read this one in this case. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe the app will help me. I'm a bit nervous. It looks like some space odyssey type of item, Jack. This could be on Hal's ship. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Looks like a robot. Yeah, you could have seen something like this. Okay, there we go. Ooh. So, ooh, man, okay. The lens there, 35 millimeter Polaroid, three element lens. And this is like a little cap, big red button on the front, some various LEDs. This looks like where your, your actual film is gonna print out. And then a giant power button in this location over here. All right, now I'm gonna look at the app at this point so I don't screw anything up. I believe it's in beta, alpha is not ready to ship yet. So I should say that to be clear. We have a wonderful Otis photo there. Okay, let's, yeah, all right, we'll go with that. Expose when ready. As I hold it there, see what happens? Can you can you make that out? Place your phone on the lab and there's the two little dots so you can align it to these two little dots. Those two little dots right there. I gotta make sure this thing even has power right now. Whoa, okay. Did you, that was interesting, did you? I, the light turned on in the back too. Oh man, I did not expect that. It's 1978, woo. Hmm. Bling. I'm definitely gonna have to load some of this eye-type film in here. Ah, gently pull down the film door. Ooh. Ooh. That brings me back. The smell of that alone brings me back, Will. The chemicals? Oh, man. Oh, baby. Okay, we got it. Oh, mechanical things. Everything is so just strictly digital these days. So to see anything mechanical on the table, I mean, beyond us getting the robot we're looking for from yeah. Boston Dynamics, yeah. they get back to you yet? No. How dare they? Did that come off or? Okay. Let's line this up. And let's just see what happens. You could take this to a party, Will. Yeah, it's on the go. You'd be such a fun guy. Mm. Like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> I believe I just did. What's flat? What happened? It made a noise. Hit the button, Jack says. Oh, baby. So exciting. Is that it? That's easy. Is that it, Jack? Do I pull this out or I leave it for a second? I can't remember. It's behind you. I know it takes a minute. Do the flappy thing. 
after five seconds, lift the film shield. You see, you gotta read the instructions in life. Don't shake the photo, Will. How dare you? Don't shake the... <laughs> well, that's an urban legend. You gotta shield it from light. We have so much light in here. We don't know how to party at all. Color pictures take 10 to 15 minutes, Jack. Otis is coming through regardless, whether you like it or not. Well, look how artsy you can get here. Well, like you get real properly. It's like a mosaic? Or yeah, something? then there's like a, a similar number of go. options for a triple all the way up to what? Six, nine. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. So now you got a poster. You can change the exposure and color amount. I'm going to leave it to default for right now. And you know what you can do if you want to get real uh, meta? You start, you snap a photo of this photo and then that goes uh, on. You've seen that before. Yeah. We're going to hold it up here. We're going to line it up. All right, so a couple of different printouts here. It takes a little time, so you're not printing these out and handing them off straight away. I mean, you could, but the actual image doesn't really start to show up until like 10 minutes. It, it's a bit different for the black and white versus the color. You don't want to expose them to light right away. You should flip them upside down during the majority of that initial uh, process of them developing, essentially. So, oh, also there's this little film thing that pops out from the front. You want to lift that gently and pull the image out. So I have a couple of different printouts here. Others, artwork that I found online. So it, it creates a really interesting proposition here. You can, it's like an analog version of anything digital that you want to supply. So some of these images I just grabbed from the web. See Willie Do there? That's a hidden Willie Do. That's a Where's Waldo. That's a Where's Willie Do. So that's pretty cool. Of course, we got Otis over there gotta have the monolith i also used multiple smartphones on here so i did the big one the max version smaller phones as well it will resize the image for a perfect exposure and even like put it off kilter ever so slightly if it has to if you don't line it up perfectly so that's sort of how it operates you know this would be cool for a party for a special event you want to commemorate it's not going to replace your digital life it's not going to replace instagram but it's just a different take. That's kind of how it works. Sponsored by Audible. Audible has the world's largest selection of audiobooks and audio entertainment. With convenient Audible app, you can listen anywhere, anytime, on any device. Every month, you can choose one audiobook, regardless of price, and two Audible originals. Audible members can easily exchange any title at any time. And members keep the library forever, even if they cancel. So I would recommend a book called Blueprint by Nicholas Christakis. It's a scientific examination of the evolution of human societies. Pretty cool. You can start a 30-day trial and you can choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash unbox or text unbox to 500-500 or you could check out the link down below.